Hello guys and welcome to yet another video. Today I want to talk about the Diffuse collapsible softbox made by a company called Camera R. Camera R? Or Camera R? I was recently in the market for something that would soften the light of my Aperture 526 without too much setup. So I'll test what this softbox looks like once it's on the LED panel. And I'll show you how much it softens the light. So first things first, the softbox comes in a little pouch like this. Uh, it came really quickly once I ordered it on Amazon. And then you open it up like that. And this is how you fold it, which can be a little bit tricky to learn at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to put away and to set up. So it comes with uh, four Velcro straps that you can use to attach your LED panel to this softbox. And wait for it, wait for it. Whoa. Camera makes three sizes of this Diffuse softbox. There's a small, medium, and a large. So I purchased the medium one, which is about 9.25 by 9.25 inches. Perfect square. The large one is about 12 inches by 12 inches. And the small one is 6.75 by 8.75 inches. I use it primarily on my Aperture MRN 526. And I have the spot version. And I find it a little bit big. I thought it would fit perfectly, but uh, I should have purchased a smaller one, but it still does the job and it still um, fits well. I really like this thing right here. It's really simple to set up. It is magnetic extension and it comes in all corners. So once you have them all extended and stuck together like that. And there you go. You have a little mini softbox right here. You would place your LED panel right here and you use the Velcro straps to sort of attach it behind so that uh, it doesn't fall out of place. So I use this softbox with the Aperture 528 and I have the spot version. I do find that the softbox that I got, it's just a little bit too big um, for this guy right here. I think I should have gone for the small version, but it still works and I'll show you. So you have your LED panel right here and you would have your light stand, which I am using right now, so I can't use it or we'll be in the dark. As you can see, the aperture uh, doesn't fit um, perfectly here, but with the help of the straps, and this is what it looks like. Well, I could straighten it up a little bit more, but uh, you get the idea. So imagine my arm was a light stand. The light stand would rest in here and you would be able to twist it and move it around. And if I were to show you the front, this is what it would look like. And if I were to place it as a key light right here or even a, as a fill light as well, it would work. Let me show you what it looks like once I put my aperture right here where my other light is and I try to use this soft box to soften the light. So right now I have the Aperture 528S on me without the Diffuse softbox. And as you can tell, I'm squinting a lot because it's actually really bright. I have the light set up at about 70% of its output. Uh, and let's see what it looks like once I add that softbox. So as you can see, I added the Diffuse softbox and right off the bat, it's a lot softer on me uh, compared to the light that this other guy has right there. Uh, you can tell the difference, uh, the light is just so much harsher over there, whereas here it's nicely lit, nice and comfortable. I'll bring the light just to show you guys how I have it set up. Um, so we're going to lose a little bit of a key light right here as I bring this in. Okay, you can see me is probably really underexposed right now. Let me add in another light over there just to brighten the scene. All right, much better. So, as you can see here, I said earlier that I got the wrong size. So it's a little bit uh, weird right here. It's not perfectly in place. So I'm sure if I got in the small version, it would have fit the Aperture 528 perfectly. But uh, still works. It doesn't have to be perfect to give me that soft light that I want. So this is a really nice soft box, really quickly to set up and take down. So now let's see how long it takes me to put this little soft box away. And starting in now. Thank you. 
So there you have it, guys. This is a review of the Diffuse Camera Softbox. I will leave some links in the description below so you can check them out and see if there's something that you would like to your cheap filmmaking gear arsenal. It was only 44 Canadian dollars, uh, maybe about 40 or 35 in US. It's really a no brainer purchase for something that is so useful, so compact and so, you know, easy to bring around and easy to use. So if you would like to check one of these soft boxes out, I've added links in the description below. And as always guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be releasing weekly videos about filmmaking, gear review and tutorials. See you next time.